okay next uh, i just uh, like to explain the reinforcement learning in very simplified manner so that uh, before i go to the architecture uh, it, it becomes helpful so reinforcement learning is a concept where actually you have agent and then you have action you have rewards you have penalty and uh, with all these things, you, your main target, you have an objective. So let's say if you imagine this mage and then this is your objective to get this diamond and this is the area where actually you get penalized for reaching out this. So if you just directly go to that, you may be penalized with minus 10 or minus 50, something like that. And if you reach here, then probably you will get plus 10. So this agent actually try to, uh, the main objective is to learn how to get the shortest way uh, to reach to its objective. And in this uh, entire process, it may go here, then it realize that this is the bad path. It may go here to realize that this is the bad path. And in this way, it finally learns how to reach out here. And this reasoning actually, it is learning by himself no one is telling them telling it what is the good data or what is the good path or what is the bad path it is learning by exploring uh, himself uh, which is the bad path and which is the good path and that's how it is developing the reasoning sense and it is finally uh, reaching its objective so this is what reinforcement learning in very simple manner let's go to the architecture then So I uh, went through that research paper which they have published. They have their base model which is a deep sig V3. It is as comparable to uh, the GP, GPT-4 O model of OpenAI. And what they have done, they have first cold started this model. Uh, that means like they have fine tuned this model with uh, chain of thought data. So chain of thought data means you can think that uh, like as a human if I try to solve some problem I'll go through some steps I'll follow some steps to solve that problem so it is kind of those uh, so chain of thought means those, those are the steps uh, to solve some problem so it is fine-tuned with uh, that kind of data and after that it produces a cold starter model and that cold started model goes through the reinforcement learning and that re reinforcement learning it has objective to improve the reasoning capabilities so this is the objective and the rewards are defined like if it, it produce kind of accurate uh, response format is correct and the language consistency this is a, one of the major point because <clears throat> this first started with DeepSeq r10 model and in that model they tried to actually uh, implement or fine-tune the base model so DeepSeq v3 model with uh, reinforcement learning and uh, that was a, a kind of uh, a novel approach because uh, no one tried that particular way uh, earlier so while training that base model with reinforcement learning it definitely uh, did good but problem was that it was not able to give the response in a proper manner in a sense like it was mixing the language so different language or languages were getting mixed while responding and also the response was not in a readable format so then they started with the, uh, this DeepSeq R1 architecture and where actually they uh, in the reinforcement learning they started giving the reward if the language consistency is there like if they're following the same language uh, while responding and once it gets tuned with the reinforcement learning it uh, generates a checkpoint output and that checkpoint output is used by a, a rejection sampling method to produce a, a reasoning data which is a very good uh, supervised fine-tuned reasoning data 
and that data with along with that data some non-reasoning data also combined gets combined non-reasoning data means it may be kind of factual question answers then writing etc so now they have reasoning data that is output of their uh, uh, rejection sampling and then non-reasoning data combination of that data now gets used uh, to do a supervised fine tuning so this time they are going through a supervised fine tuning to that uh, checkpoint model the same model here and this is get further tuned uh, uh, further tuned and they have now a fine tuned checkpoint model and this particular model further goes through reinforcement learning steps again and this time objective is that generate responses which is more aligned with human preferences and rewards are like uh, helpfulness means readability is much better or harmlessness means there is no harmless uh, harmful information and better reasoning so these are kind of rewards have been given if uh, for in this reinforcement learning approach and finally after this stage it produce our most coveted model uh, dipsic r1 this is not as simple as i have drawn it here but uh, these are the major steps you can think means if you just want to understand the architecture in a very high level manner so what i would suggest that if you want to do deep dive uh, please go through their paper they have uh, mentioned that uh, reinforcement learning algorithm in beta and they have described this in more detail if you're interested definitely go through that